All right, guys. All right, yeah. So this is Gloom Gaming here, and last episode I was oh, spikes. Uh, I was no, I wasn't in spikes, cause I would be dead. But I was in Campo City, and I ended off the episode in Campo City, because and also, well, yeah, I ended the episode in Campo City, but uh, I also went back to Goblin Peak because, as you can see. Um, Campo City and Goblin Peak is a good long ways away from each other, so I just went to Goblin Peak right after recording, and just logged off for the night there. And sorry for the late upload because it didn't upload um, during the night because of a low battery. So well, it's kind of a long story, but anyway, now we're now we're uh, back on the road here, and I just wanted to see something. Uh, it's about the rounds, but uh, I guess we're good. So, so anyway, <clears throat> we're on our way to Rifle Lodge, which is uh, we just passed it completely. Um, so I think it's over here, Rifle Lodge. I've been here before. That's the right way. Yeah. So obviously, I'm pretty sure it has some guns in it. <clears throat> so. We'll see if we can find that, but for the trip I bought uh, one bandage, two little bottles of water that we found, like we found like 11 of those in the city. I left that M4 semi back at the vault because that's a really rare gun. And I um, just brought the Anaconda with me because that's a nice gun. I probably should have brought just like a Kruger pistol or like a 1911, but whatever. So, and I got just a simple melee weapon. I got a bat. Uh, two instant oatmeal and one thing of painkillers, so so that's good. But I want to pack lightly, cause uh, see, so it's rifle lodge, cause yeah, we'll probably find stuff here. But just in case we run into some trouble, we got ten bullets in the anaconda, and maybe a gun that we find here. So as you can see, nightfall is uh, upon us. So uh, I'll probably just go through the side or through the front because I'm pretty sure the way I'm facing now is through the front you know whatever's just tactically best because you should try to keep some some tacticalism if that word exists and some strategy in here so that's pretty crucial to this game or we can just go into the lodge itself which should have some things but maybe take out walkers first I don't know so hopefully this commentary should be a lot better I don't know I'm, I'm just in a good mood today, so we'll see what comes up as we as we go and raid these abandoned houses. So, almost at this lodge here, see a bunch of walkers over there. Uh, walker zombies. I don't know, I keep calling them zombies, even though, yeah, they're, they're like the same thing. Except I don't know. Walkers walk and the Walking Dead. I call it the Walking Dead. I remember in like seasons one and I'm pretty sure is one. And I guess some of two, like, walkers didn't walk at all. They, like, completely ran. Or at least some jog of some sort. But now they walk, so it's all good. And then, of course, zombies in this game jog, too. So, I don't know. It's because, like, I based that all that off of, like, I don't know. When I was a little kid, I used to read this book. It's, like, it's not really a book, but technically is. It's called, like... I don't know, like the zombie apocalypse survival guide or something like that, but uh, there's no guns here. Water and then some can of pasta, or can of soda, or juice, juice, yeah, juice. All right, so whatever I was talking about before, let's just ditch that for now, and we're gonna go along the sides of this place. Just want to make sure up in the middle. Because uh, there's a lot of zombies in the middle over here, so let's make our way over to this walker. I'm pretty sure it's just one. So we in good distance. The others, I think we are. It's just can't be too cautious in this game. And also, uh, when I was logging on today for recording, it asked me for a survey. Uh, of uh, what should be in some new updates. I mean, like some of them were pretty, pretty normal, but then there are others just like with the stupidest suggestions, like taking away all zombies. I just want it to be a PvP game. Like, 
I wouldn't, no one would play the game anymore if you did that. Like, be realistic, you know? <laughs> People play the game for the challenge of the zombies. And, like, if you don't, like, you don't. If you're, like, scared of zombies, then in reality, you're a pussy. But, uh. Alright, so let's just. I kinda wanna check out this RV, but there's a zombie nearby. I can't see. It's. I know it's not that one. It might be that one, but. Um. Let's check side here no it was that one but also i don't really want to fight a lot because you know it could attract other hordes so just kind of check the back of these houses see if you can go into some of them so i'll see if i can just kind of jump up on here into this rv because i know guns sometimes have rvs and this is rifle lodge so Alright, so I'm gonna jump up. Alright, we're good. Alright. Oh, I didn't know zombies could go in there. I didn't know zombies could go in RVs. Oh, zombies. I got my... I got my choke point. You see, that was like the... If you ever seen flares, like they give off like that red light. Uh, that that's what was like was showing up when I was hitting. Yeah, look at that. It's like it's not even brown. I'm pretty sure. Yep, anaconda. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's trying to like tell us that it's wood, but it's not wood at all. It's freaking red blood coming out of the ceiling. <laughs> not ceiling. Oh my god. Brand new. All right. Hoping those has some bullets, but whatever. So. Try and take on this guy. Alright, so let's lure him. Come on. Alright, so let's just beat this guy up. Street fighter zombies. And where's the other zombie? Right here. Let's get this one. Kind of cleared out the middle a little. And then they got the other one coming after us. The bat swings fast. Alright, so let's just take this guy out. Alright, got that money. Stacking cash. Alright, and then I know that towards the beginning of this place... Oh, we have to, we have to still check that side. That side of the camp. Alright, let's get this guy. <coughs> I thought I heard tires moving. Anyone want to hear that? I guess we'll just use those now. And then, where are we going? We're, on, we're going the wrong way. Alright, so. Let's see if we can get this zombie here. Alright. I'm also quiet beating up zombies. I'm like, how did I get hit? It's not even logical. If there's like painkillers or something. And that like little truck there. But for now we'll just keep checking the sides of this place. Because zombies aren't really near the sides. But you can find some things towards the side. Most of the time. So let's go in the back. We already check there. Let's go behind floating tire it's like daisy then like floating everything because that game was so bad look at that more more like a light colored blood is coming out of that tire all right so nothing on the sides now we'll just check check that other side and then we'll keep moving yeah so that a giant that's like a giant spool of thread or either dead or some ratchet ass table. Alright, so now let's get this guy. I kinda wanna go back just to get more painkillers and stuff like that. Alright, let's get. Alright, so I'm so lucky that only two zombies are coming after me if others get alerted. Where's, where's the other one? Is that a body? Has to be a body. Oh, that's right, you're there. Alright. Let's kind of just avoid them for now, even though I kind of want to check out that RV. Oh, yo, is that eating something? 
I was eating a body. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. Uh, what was that? What was it eating? Is that a body? Oh, I can't tell. Whatever. Alright, so let's go after. Oh my god, I'm just coming out of nowhere. It's kind of like get out of the way of most of them. Oops. We're checking a lot of them. If it wasn't for this bad eye, Brad, I'd be dead by now. Like, drink water. And let's see what zombie should I get. Get this one. Then we'll check out the RV. And also, if we ever get in trouble, we can just hop onto one of the vehicles or go into one of the RVs or just fire away, kind of. Alright, it sounds like there's a zombie in the RV. There is a zombie in the RV. I think. Yeah, there's a zombie. There's a zombie somewhere. I I'm hearing sounds from my headset. It's a good headset. It sounds all muffled and metal around, and I think it's from the RV. Oh. Oh, check that out, check that out. The RV. God, I hate these lag spikes. Uh, yeah, more zombies just keep spawning. Oh my god. I right, let's just get this. I don't know where that sound is coming from, but... It's coming to my left now, and I was just facing the right. 1911, that's nice. Where's this friggin' sound coming from? Oh my god. Oh, is it from in here? It's a little... It's a little stall. Yeah. It's coming from there, like in The Walking Dead. From like that thing with Andrea. Like she hides there. Get, get up here, bitch. Get on my level. Of my RV. Get on the level of my RV, bitch. As I mentioned in earlier episodes, Infestation hates them RVs. And I forget why, but I remember I said that. Alright, alright, so let's, I'm pretty sure these houses aren't enterable, so at least we got the rifle and 1911. Got some nice guns from Rifle Lodge. So, based on where we're headed to next, I might just. Um, I see, so we could go to Devil's Pass, but I'm pretty sure it's just a pathway. I'm not sure if it's an actual thing. So, I don't know. I guess we could go down there, but um, I just kind of want to take safe measures. But how many bandages do I have? I've packed heavily on medical stuff because I have a bunch of those, but for now. I want to shoot a zombie with a 1911. I was just love doing that randomly. Brand new, fuck. And I kind of should return the guns, so that's what I'll do. I'll just run back. Kind of. I really want. I just like shooting zombies like once at least. That's what I'll do. I'll just shoot one. Get him nice headshot. So first we have to find a zombie to headshot. One. All right, so shoot this one. All right, wait for the anaconda to load up. All right, here we go. Why is this gonna be so loud? <laughs> Bet all the players around are like, "What the fuck?" <clears throat> anyway, all right, show shot one zombie. Now let's go back to Castle Pine, and I'll probably end off the the video there. <clears throat> or if you don't want to see the thing, the castle pine, I'll just end it off here, I guess. I don't know. Or we could go ham. But, I don't know. We could just get, like, a bunch of zombies together and shoot them all. I like that. Alright, so we got four, four bullets loaded up.
I'm gonna run. Let's go right here. Oh, money. Let me get that money first. And I wish there was water on to do that glitch. So, I don't know, let's start running. Then we can uh, turn around, shoot some zombies, I guess. Wait, wait, keep going, keep going. Oh, like a boss. <laughs> like, get turned, cod. <laughs> we wasted more ammo than we needed to, but whatever. <laughs> oh, open that inventory door. Alright, so, this was a pretty kind of boring episode, but at least we found some things. Because, you know, I uploaded the other video today just by cam light no i was a death was it death by cam light no i was undead city so i i guess i guess it makes sense two boring episodes make one normal episode because when we went into the city there's like nothing much yeah so we're almost at the that time again anyway so and then when we come back i'll um actually get a good amount of things and start moving again because we're kind of trapped <clears throat> Not trap, but once we get past the Devil's Pass and into Mountain Crest and all those things, there's a lot better things to do. So that's what we'll be doing, and um, I'll just play on other accounts for now. And uh, if you see this video, as always, please like, comment, and sub subscribe. Sub subscribe, yeah, because that would mean so much to me. So. Uh, especially because I just started off, the subscribe would mean everything for a new YouTuber like me. And I'm pretty sure most YouTubers would really, uh, appreciate that. And then when Obscured, I'll tell you what his channel name is when he makes one. Because he has one right now, just for you know his personal use. But not for public yet, for posting videos. So so uh, when that happens, I'll tell you what his thing is. And then the like, subscribe, comment, favorite. Tell, please tell your friends also. That'd be that'd be amazing if they like these kind of games. Just please point them out to me. That'd be really much appreciated. And if you do get a subs uh, successful subscribers, I'll be throwing in more promotions also. And the promotions are: first 15 subscribers get an in-game weapon, of course, not an out-of-game weapon. And uh, 20 and the 15 subscriber will receive uh, 25k in game. If you don't know what 25k is, 25 thousand dollars to buy whatever you like with. Uh, there's some cheap things, definitely. I can show you around the shop actually before uh, I gotta go. I don't have to go. I can stay as long as I want. I just have to upload and everything. So eat instant oatmeal. <coughs> So I'll just show you around the store what you can get with the 25k, and also if you're buying the game. <clears throat> Actually, that'd be nice. I could just, I'll do that another episode. I'll start recording right after that, or right after this, and I'll put that episode on. <clears throat> and also I have the blooper montage coming up soon, so stay tuned for that. So I'm going to end off the video here, guys, now with the Rare Castle Pine. So again, please like, subscribe, comment, favorite, on uh, comment on what you liked, because that would mean a lot to me. So alright, thank you. This is Gloom Gaming, and as always, we outchin' in infestation.